Chris, this is your girl Jayden, and as you read by the title, today's video is going to be me doing my hair and the story time all in one. And let me just say this, I'm not telling this story to bash nobody. I don't want nobody connecting the dots. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. It was a long time ago. But anyways, um, this is the hairstyle I'm going to be doing. I think it might come out right, it might not. <sighs> Let's just get into it. <laughs> okay, so boom. I met this guy on Instagram. And like I told y'all before, in the past, I had been cheated on. It was not a secret that I was being cheated on. So, he was just like one of them guys that was like, oh, you deserve better. You know, one of them just in my DM doing all that. And, you know, I finally was like, okay, I'm not in a relationship no more. He fine. He was like a little basketball star or whatever. You know, I love me a good little basketball player. He was a brown skin looking good. I was like, mm. all right. All right, I'll give you a chance. Yes. <laughs> so we was talking and stuff and the thing i liked about him was he wasn't just athletic you know he was actually very smart so i was just like okay that's a plus too because a lot of dudes i ran into back then oh keep in mind i was still 16 at this time i wasn't even 17 i don't think yeah because this was like right before i met my second like actual boyfriend so i was just like okay he's smart the day is gonna go well. Da, 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 da. Fast forward to the day of the date, y'all. My stomach is toe up. When I'm saying like toe up, I don't mean like I was on the toilet. I mean like feeling like I had to puke. Like as soon as he hit, like as soon as he said he was on his way, I was like, <laughs> and I was trying to hide it because I knew like if my mama had puked, she was gonna be like. You don't need to go on that date, you know, your spirit telling you something. You know, she went to them, so I was just like, uh-uh, I, I, can't, I can't let this show. I was like, let me get myself together. I got to go on this date with this boy. I'm going to forever be scared to move on. I'm going to forever be going back to my ex if I don't just take this one step. That's how I was thinking, y'all. So, so boom, he get there. My first impression was okay. He was sweet to my mama, but... He didn't open the door for me. My mama really didn't like that. So she said something that he did. His car was nice, y'all. I was like, okay, he got a little something. He got a little something going for himself. I ain't used to this. I was like, okay, I'm fucking with it. So we in the car and basically he just telling me the plan of the day. We're going to see Lion King. We're going to Monroe. Da, da, da. This is the part I forgot to leave out the story time, y'all. I already knew he was a player. He had been known for being a player. So, in my mind, being naive, I'm thinking, oh, he taking me to the nice movie theater because he actually liked me. But in reality, I think he just wasn't trying to get caught up. You know, cute stuff, cute stuff. And I actually appreciated that because before that, I had never had a dude just really, like, playing out a whole date for me and stuff like that. So, I was just like, okay, I mess with it. Okay, y'all, so boom. Fast forward to... When we got to the movies, he paid for my ticket, which was, that was cute. That was good. I was just like, I mean, some of y'all may be thinking like, duh, he the dude, it's a date. Like, he's supposed to pay, but y'all will be surprised the type of dates I've been on. But anyways, let's not get into that right now. That's another story for another day. So, we get in there, we sit down. Immediately, as soon as the lights go down, I feel a freaking hummingbird clucking on my neck. And I'm just like... What are you doing? Like, I was very uncomfortable because, first of all, it wasn't that he wasn't handsome or attractive or anything, but it was like, for one, you're doing all this and you, you don't even have my consent. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I would understand if the mood was there and then you trying to do that or something, but as soon as the lights go down, you trying to freaking cluck me. And I'm just like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> like, and y'all, this is just some free game for dudes. Like, some girls do not like hickeys, especially out in the open where it can be seen that's embarrassing for a girl so just ask her before you just start and on top of that y'all he was like it felt like he had just shaved and y'all know like for a girl or anybody when you just shave and them hairs grow back it's like they prickly so it's just pricking my neck every time and i'm just like Ugh. i'm just like can you like back up he was like he was making the face like oh you want me to do that i'm like Mm, I don't like if I did I would have let you know you feel what I'm saying so he sit there the rest of the movie he had his arm around me but it like he was pouting I was like what's wrong with you he was like you act like you don't want me to touch you you know how dudes do they try to gaslight you into letting them do stuff I can't talk but anyways I was just like whatever 
So I enjoyed the rest of the movie. Da da da. Afterwards, I was asking him like, "Did you like it?" He was like, "It was okay." Jar. That's when everything just started giving. No. So he was like, "We're finna go here to eat." And da da da. I'm like, "Okay, cool. I like that place." So we walking in. Da da da. We sit down. I thought the conversation was going to be good, y'all, because, like, keep in mind, I already know he was very smart. Like, I cannot take that from him, man. He toxic, but he very smart. So, I'm just knowing we're going to have a good conversation. But first, it starts off with him just recording me and sending snaps to my, at the time, he was my boy best friend or whatever. So, he start, I'm sorry, y'all, wait. That just feels so good when you done had a wig on. So he started sending him snaps of me basically to be like, oh, I'm out with your best friend. And because they was friends. You know how dudes do. They got to show off a little bit. So I was just like, whatever, do what you do. So then my best friend started texting me like, oh, you out with so-and-so. Oh, let me give him a name, y'all. Oh, you out with basketball. I'm like, yeah, I finally gave him a chance like you told me to. Da, da, da. And he did tell me to, y'all. He was just like, stop being mean to my bro and da, da, da. He ain't even a bad dude. So I took my friend word for it. Eh, wrong answer. So, y'all, this is when he started being childish, right? I'm just trying to talk to him and stuff like that. And I feel like he's kind of trying to talk to me like I'm slow. I'm not going to go into detail about the conversation because I feel like people from where I stay can connect the dots too much. And I don't have time. So, <laughs> so he was just like starting to be a little cocky because I was just basically telling him, don't talk to me like I'm crazy. I get very good grades you know you know childish shit i was 16 y'all that's all i had so he was just like so do i list your accolades da, 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 da. you know just start being hella cocky and i'm just looking at him like you thought you ate give me that play so <laughs> so after that i'm just like really not talking much da, 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 da. so he snatched my phone out my hand y'all because i'm just on my phone scrolling because i'm like irritated and I really didn't care. I didn't fight to get it back, y'all, because it's just like, we both single people at the end of the day. Like, what are you going to do if it is something in there? Like, punch me? So I was just like, whatever. So, y'all, this is where he really made me mad. He goes into my recently deleted folder and sees a picture of himself. He was like, oh, you be stalking me? And then try to laugh and, like, give a cocky-ass look. And I'm just looking at him like... <laughs> No, first of all, I told my friends I was going out with you and they didn't know who you were, so I sent the picture. So in reality, you really should be piped up because that shows you're really not the man like you think you are. <laughs> like, boy, don't ever in your life try to play little Jade because I've been getting hoes. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, that really just drove me and I was just like, no, like... I lied to him. I didn't tell him it was to see my friends. I was just like, no, my mama just wanted to know how you look just in case anything happened to me. And I ain't gonna lie, she did ask for his first and last name as she should because I was 16 years old. Anything could happen. But anyways, y'all, after that, I was just even more irritated. I'm like, oh my God, every little thing he's doing is giving cocky at this point. Like, he was so cute before I knew his personality. So, next thing you know, he sees I'm mad. He trying to, like, play with me, like, oh, stop being mad. I was just kidding. I know you not one of them. You not a fan. Da, 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 da. He didn't use the term one of them. He was just like, I know you not like that. I'm like, whatever. He grabs my leg, y'all. Pulls me under the table. <laughs> Literally under the table. My head is on the seat. I'm like, bro, let my leg go. Let my leg go. Like, I'm getting drove because that's so embarrassing, like, we in the middle of a nice, I ain't gonna say fancy, but we in the middle of a nice restaurant and you pulling my leg, like, trying to make me not be mad no more and you making me even more mad. So after that, I was on hush mode for the rest of the day, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I sat there, he was in his food trying to ask me questions and stuff, talk to me. I did not say shit. I was drove. I was like, this is my first date since breaking up with that F boy and this is what y'all come with? This is what y'all come with. This is all y'all do got to offer. Like, that's really how I was thinking. I was just drove. I was like, whatever. So, whole time he tried to talk to me. I wasn't saying that. He was like, oh, okay. Like, he tried to say it as if he didn't know why I was mad, y'all. And this one made me even more mad. And I just looked at him like, bitch, don't piss me off. Because, <laughs> like, if y'all know me, I'm not quick to get mad. But once I get mad, it, it ain't no stopping it for real. Like, you just gonna have to give me my time. Because, fuck is wrong with you. So, so, so we walk 
walk back to the car. He's just like, what's your problem? Da, da, da. And I start getting a little emotional, y'all. And this is where the story gets a little embarrassing and toxic. <laughs> Because I was just like, that's when I was just really just like, I ain't gonna say broke down because I wasn't crying hard, but I was just crying. I was just like, you don't understand. This is my first day after being in a toxic ass relationship. I just wanted you to show me a good time. I don't want to feel like you was using me or trying to move to. This is actually kind of cute. Oh, hold on. You know, I was like, I don't want to feel like you was using me or trying to move too fast. And that's exactly what you did. Like, you was trying to pick all up on me, like, as if you don't know I'm inexperienced, very inexperienced. So he was just like, I'm sorry, I wasn't really trying to make you uncomfortable, da 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 da. As I'm venting about, venting, as I'm venting about what I've been through, he starts turning on some Brent, right? Red flag number, I don't even know, we probably on number five by now. So he starts talking about, I just miss my granny, y'all no cap. Dudes always love to use this excuse, bro. As soon as you point out what they did wrong, it's like, oh, my granny. I just miss her so much. I'm just sitting there like, I already know this trick. I've already been played. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, what are we really talking about here? How are you going to fix your actions? I don't give a damn about Granny. Like, no rude shit, but I really do. <laughs> so, he's continuing to talk about his grandma and how everything just da 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 is different. And I'm just like, the whole time he talking, y'all, I, I was, I ain't gonna say I wasn't listening, but I was really staring at him with the intentions of trying to get nasty. And I know this is very toxic, y'all. <laughs> and I know this is very toxic, y'all. And this is where I went wrong. He was just so fine, y'all. And it wasn't even like I was paying attention to what he was talking about. It's just as he was expressing his emotions, I was just like, I'm gonna eat it. Ah! I was just like, dang, you kind of fire. So. <laughs> Next thing you know, he get done talking about his business or whatever. And I'm just like, can you kiss me? He was like, huh? Because I guess, I mean, I, it's understandable why he wasn't expecting me to say that. But I was just like, bro, you heard me. Like, can you kiss me? So he was like, you want me to? I'm like, are you that fucking dumb? You ain't hear what the fuck I said? Bro, that's what I just asked. Like, come on. Like, what are you doing? You're blowing it. So he was like, okay. So then we started kissing, but it was blah, 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 blah. not going into detail about that. And he was actually a good kisser, y'all. And I was just so amazed because y'all got to think about it. I only had one boyfriend. Like, that's all I knew. I didn't know some dudes was just really gifted in this area. I was just like, oh, my goodness. I was just like, he's my husband now. I don't care about the red flags. You can be cocky all you want to. You bae. Like, I was delusional head over heels. <laughs> like, I was really losing my marbles, y'all. So next thing you know, here he come being a vampire again. <laughs> Cling it to my neck. I'm just like, bro, like, can you please stop? Like, can you please stop? I have other dates this week. I can't be worried about covering that up from you. So, after that, y'all, I definitely had a hickey. He took a picture of it, y'all. Like, he was just so proud. And I'm just like, bro, you don't understand. You're not the only one on my freaking roster this week. Like, you just blowing it. You blowing me. <laughs> Keep in mind what I forgot to tell y'all. He went to be fast and pull out his little wing wee and try to move my hand over there too. And I kept pulling my hand back. So I'm just like, I don't want to feel that. Stop acting like a fucking hooligan. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't ask for that part. I just asked for a kiss. I asked for a simple kiss. Now you're doing too much. I was like, I'm not ready for all that. He was like, you're not ready to touch it? Like he said it like he was so shocked. Like every girl he ever been around was just finna just rub up on him. I'm like, no, I'm not finna touch it. So after that, y'all, I'm thinking, okay, things going to be a little bit better. You know, I done let my guard down. He done let his guard down. You know, we're going to be cool. Next thing you know, we sitting there apart just talking, right? He started bragging to me about how ever since he was little, girls been trying to get in his pants. And he always knew he was going to have a lot of females. And, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. and I'm just like, as somebody that's trying to date you, why do you feel like this is the conversation to have on the first day? Like, I can understand, like, if we was a few months in and he was like, well, let me tell you, babe, so-and-so done tried to talk to me. She desperate. She did. Like, I would understand that then because that's kind of like normal conversation in a relationship. Like, some people don't like to talk about their past, but I'm not one of them. Like, <laughs> I let it all out. I don't be caring for real. Because it's just like, you need to understand why I move the way I move and I want to, you know, feel the same way about you. So, as he's saying all this, I'm like... I know this man put his tongue in my esophagus and 
the cockiness is very much still there. So I was just like, <sighs> so next thing you know, it's like two o'clock in the morning. We just sitting there talking and most of the talk was really just him bragging on how many females he got. And I was just like, okay, this is not the vibe. So my mama like, hey, it's 2 a.m. Where you at? Da, 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 which understandable. I was 16 years old. I was being fast like always. So I was just like, hey, I need to go home. But can we stop by Walmart first? This is when it was up 24 hours all before COVID. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just like, can we stop by Walmart first? Give me some foundation. He was like, you good. Just put a hoodie on. It's summertime, y'all. Who's wearing a hoodie in summertime? Unless, like, it's in the house or something. I'm just like, boy, if you don't get... You starting to drive me. Because all I ask of you is one little thing. One little thing. I understand you pay for this food and this movie. So, I'm going to pay for my own foundation. All I need you to do is swing by Walmart and fix the mistake that you made. Because they know how to tell you to do all that. Like, ugh. So, anyways, he ain't do that, y'all. So, I just went back home, heard up, went to my room. I was just like, eh, hope nobody see that. <laughs> I'm saying nobody, but it was just my mama. So, the next day, he like, hey, I'm finna go get food. You want to come with me? I don't turn down food. So, I was like, for sure. So, he come scoop me or whatever. It's actually good vibes this day, y'all. I was like, okay, it's a little bit better. Maybe, you know, he realized some of the things he went wrong on last night. Just being optimistic, delusional, like, you know. Like a 16 year old is. <laughs> Next thing you know, y'all, we at Sonic, right? And he asked me what I want. I'm letting him know. Da, 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 da. And he just started playing a little too rough. Like, he put his elbow on my neck, y'all. It was trying to kiss me. And don't get me wrong, I didn't have no problem with kissing him, but it was just the way he went about getting the kisses. Like, no, you don't have to WWE freaking pin me to get a kiss from me. If I want to kiss you, I'll kiss you and I'll let you know. Like, so, once he did that, I was like, can you please move? Can you please move? Can you please move? And once I said it three times, I punched him in the face. Damn! Because I was just like, okay, you're not going to keep disrespecting me and making me feel like powerless down here. Like, I told you to move nicely and you need to move. So, he was just like, why would you do that? He took my phone, put it on the roof of his car, started acting like he was going to back up and hit the brakes. He was like, and say I won't do it, say I won't, say I won't. So I'm just like, you threatening me, but you got a phone too. Like, what's up, what's up? Like, I was really getting mad, y'all. So his food come, I don't see nothing the whole ride home. I was just like, you know what? You don't got to worry about me. You don't die have to worry about me. That's how I was thinking, y'all. So I get home and get out the car, and he tried to skirt off, y'all. He got a little fast car. He trying to show off some of some I almost ran over my freaking toe, y'all. And I'm not exaggerating. I almost ran over my toe. So, <laughs> so, so I'm just sitting there like, bro, I know this dude really did not just try to play me like that. Like, I'm just supposed to be weak. So, I was very upset because I thought that was going to be my husband just because he played basketball. And he was fine, period. So, so, after that, we didn't talk for a while. I wasn't breaking my... Anyways, I wasn't breaking my silence. He wasn't breaking his. And... One day I get a text out the blue. He like, you acting like I did something really wrong to you. And I'm just like, you did. Like, you was being very aggressive and weird for no reason. I was like, but I ain't say all that, y'all. I was just like, how would you feel if somebody did your mama or your sister the way you was doing me? He was like, I would just feel like he a man just trying to play with his girl. Da, 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 da. You know how dudes do. Gaslighting. Gaslighting. So I was just like, whatever. So after that... We really didn't talk much, but I did have a conversation with my best friend. I was just like, basically, oh, y'all forgot to tell this way early in the story. He used to talk to somebody that was close to my best friend. So I'm not a Cassie, y'all, because she wasn't my friend, but she was my friend by association. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if we was to go out and she was there, I wasn't going to be rude or like, ugh. You know, it was like that. So I tell her about the fact we went on a date. She was like, oh, to my knowledge, they were still together. What did he say? <laughs> what? It's not funny, y'all, because they really hurt the girl feelings. And I was just sitting there like, oh, my God. Like, I felt so bad. I'm like, I felt so bad. I was like, I was really plotting on this boy, and he was still a boyfriend. Like, I felt so bad. I was just like, I'm... I'm not fooling with him no more. And I told him about himself. I went off on him, y'all. I broke my silence finally. I was like, um, you dead wrong for doing that girl like that. You know how 
do do. He was just like, I don't even talk to her. She need to stop claiming me. Da da da. You know, just really doing that girl down bad. And I was just like, I know what it feel like to be cheating on, and I would never ever ever participate in those activities with no dude. And he definitely got his karma. But I'm not gonna speak on that. That might be a story for another day. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. This the hairstyle. It's kind of whole because I feel like I was more focused on the story than my actual hair. But anyways, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>